Hey there, Ed McCormack here, founder of the crypto education platform, Dechained. In today's video, we're gonna very quickly address one of the most common problems that many viewers face when they're putting a transaction through during peak times of the day and week. And that is, how do I get some of my stalled transactions to just go through? It can be extremely frustrating, especially if you know, you're putting that through and there's an NFT that dropped or very simply, there's an IDO that's launching at the same time. Ethereum can get just extremely congested and truthfully, it's it's a problem that could be easily solved. You just gotta know how to do it. And at the same time, know how to do it in a way where you're not overpaying. And that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. I'll show you exactly how to speed things up and maybe even during the holiday season when you're sitting over a cocktail with friends and family, maybe even impress them and tell them how to do it as well. So we're gonna jump into all of that right now. So first thing that you're gonna to have to do is in MetaMask, go to your settings and in the advanced section, you're going to find the option to turn on advanced gas settings. It's just gonna allow you to adjust the three different fields that we're gonna go through right now. And when talking about where you're actually gonna make the adjustments, when it's time to increase the overall gas and speed things up, there are three things that you're gonna see. The first is, is your gas limit. And this is otherwise known as your base fee, which if you've heard that term because of the new upgrade to Ethereum this past August, it's that portion of the fee that gets burned. This is just basically the amount of gas that you're going to put in in order for the transaction to be added to the blockchain. I won't go through the formula, how it works, because truthfully, we once we all got a calculator back in grammar school, you kind of stop caring about you know all the manual steps and long division, but it basically is based on how much of the previous block was used and filled. If it wasn't 100% filled, base rate stays the same. If it was, but it wasn't 100%, it, it goes up slightly. Again, won't go too deep into that. Happy to put out another video to go through it if you feel so inclined to do all the math on every single transaction. The second field that you're gonna see is your max priority fee. And this is nothing short of just the tip that you're giving to the miner. So something that's very important, higher the tip, the more incentivized the miner is. So all things considered, you don't wanna miss this piece. But the most important field is really the, the aggregation of the two prior, which is your max fee. It's your base fee plus your tip. And you know, fortunately for us, this is where there are tools to help really give you guidance in terms of what you should be placing that max fee. And there's a site called Block Native. They offer a gas estimator. I can't recommend it enough. And just using their estimates based on the prior block can help you set a max fee that you know, if you don't get into this next block, you are pricing yourself in such a way where uh, you are very enticing for the next six blocks to pick up. So if you're not picked up right away, odds are you're going to get picked up you know, within a few seconds. So something that you should have in your arsenal, bookmark the page. We'll make sure that we put the link in the description. And until next time, happy and safe investing. I'll speak with you soon.